Good day, flight and space friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another exciting place for you to practice your flight skills. Today, we're going to visit a website called GOFS, which is a sweet flight simulator. Friends, all you need to do is click on Google and type GO FS, and it will show up on your screen. And my friends, let's get in there and get cracking. Once you get to the website, notice there is a free version, which I'm going to recommend that you play with. There are multiplayer options, but I'm just going to teach you how to fly this first day. So when you click fly, you will be in. It takes a few moments to load. Make sure you give it time and check it out. It puts you right out on a runway. P is pause, so that way I don't have to hear the noise as it's running. And let me teach you the controls really, really quick. When you click options, you can pick what you're going to fly with. I want to fly with the keyboard. When we hit configure, it's got a sweet mix of the roll and yaw, so it tries to auto-coordinate the rudder and the ailerons for you. If you want to bank left, it is the left arrow, right is the right arrow. The pitch, which is your elevator, is up and down. You can steer when you're on the ground using the greater than, less than symbols. You can use the space bar as a brake. There is also a parking brake, which is not on. I'll let you know that right now. It is the semicolon. Your throttle is plus and minus. You can also use the numbers on the keyboard. Page up and page down, I'm not sure what they really do because they have the exact same list. To trim your elevator, it's home and end. To make your trim back to neutral, it is delete. E is the engine switch for your, or your power key. Your gear, if you want to toggle it, if you have one where the gear does go up, is G. Flaps are the brackets. B is the air brake. And X is to get rid of the animated parts. When you click on the little options, that goes away. So you can always pause and bring it back. To get your plane flying initially, it is this easy. I'm going to choose to get in the airplane. You could fly from out here, but I want to be in the cockpit cam. So now I'm in my airplane, I let it redraw. I'm gonna set my throttle all the way to nine and you can see that it actually starts moving down the runway. If I tap those less than, greater than, that's how I turn it left or right. You can say right now I'm hitting a little bit of airspeed so it's starting to get up. When it hits 60 knots, which is in the middle-ish of the screen, I can pull down on my elevator and start to lift off into the sky. Your altitude is on the right. Right now you can see that I just hit 200 feet. I'm going to go up to 500 feet and then level off. So I'm going to pull back on my elevator a couple more clicks. And then once I get to 500 feet, I'm going to actually start banking and fly around just a little bit. There's 400 feet I'm going to climb just a little faster, bank once to the left. Remember, less is more when you're clicking your rudders and such. And there I'm finally at 500 feet, so I feel safe enough to take a little bit of a tip down on the nose and take a look around as I fly about this awesome bit of scenery. So friends, I'm not going to teach you anymore. I'm just going to let you experiment with this. I've given you the keys. You can adjust all your items to see how it looks. You can switch by hitting pause and changing to a different camera at any time. So I'm going to click on the follow cam. And now when I hit play, I am behind my airplane and out of control and about to crash. But that's the beauty of it is you can just restart and pick even different planes and just have a blast as you learn about flying. All right, friends, I am going to put a link in the description so it's easier to find as well. Google search does work. And if you enjoyed this, you had a lot of fun, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.